Hello, hello friends. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. Today's video is going to be another one in my series highlighting to you guys how my stash continues to grow. <laughs> So, as many of you know, I had made a decision about a month ago now that I will no longer be purchasing from small stores. I just literally, the truth is, can't afford it. Um, I find the small diamond painting stores to be very, very expensive. And so, I took a decision to stop buying from all small stores. Now, I did say at the time that if there were any amazing sales... Um, being offered by any of the small stores and if they had any paintings that I just absolutely had to have then provided they were on sale I may consider getting them. So to kick off this video the reason I'm giving you that background is because these three canvases that you're seeing on your screen now are from Distracted by Diamonds. I would consider them a small store. They are a small store. So some of you may be saying well why have you got three canvases from them? <laughs> Well, firstly, two of these canvases, these two, were bought before I had made my decision to stop buying from small stores. And the third one over here, which I will show you, was recently discounted, and the discount was huge. I think I paid something like, don't quote me on this, but I think it was something like $28 for this canvas. So that, obviously, I am happy to pay. That is even cheaper than a Diamond Art Club or anything, even using my points. So if I can pick up um, paintings that I love at a discounted price like that, then yes, I will be happy to buy from small stores. But um, other than that, you won't be seeing many small stores in my future videos. So let's kick things off now guys so basically today's video is going to be showing you three canvases from distracted by diamonds and nine canvases from diamond art club including five i think i bought five from them during their anniversary sale so the stuff that has come in now with my latest shipment which is these canvases that i'm going to show you today Probably, I probably placed those orders over a period of about a month and a half, maybe. So, in the period of a month and a half, my stash has increased by this number. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get into it. Let me show you the new gorgeous paintings that I will be adding to my stash. Right, so the first painting I want to show with uh, you guys comes from Distracted by Diamonds. I'm going to start off with the three that I bought from them. So you can see on your screen now, this is the first of the three. This is called The Inquisitor. It's by Caroline Smith. It's a round roll diamond painting in the size 62 by 62 centimeters. Then the next canvas that I ordered from Distracted by Diamonds is this gorgeous sort of landscape piece. City, it's a city landscape piece. Now, those of you who know me know that I do not gravitate towards this sort of art, but I saw this one and I just absolutely loved it. I'm a city girl at heart. Um, you will never find me camping or hiking or, <laughs> or doing anything like that. So when I saw this piece, it really spoke to me and I just loved it. On top of that, it was on a good sale. So in fact, all three of these Distracted by Diamonds uh, canvases were on a very good sale when I bought them. Even though two of them I bought before I had taken my decision to um, not buy from small stores or only to buy when there are great sales, these already did happen to be on a great sale. So the one that I just showed you, the Inquisitor, and then this one, which is not labeled with a name. Um, I'm not sure what this one is called. You would have to just go and find it in the Etsy store. So unfortunately, this label doesn't have the name of the canvas or the name of the artist. So I'm sorry about that, guys. I didn't actually realize that until I'm sitting down here now filming this video. So I don't want to break from this video and try and look that up now. But what I will do is I will try and link 
um, to the Etsy store. So I will try and link to Distracted by Diamonds Etsy store in the description box below. So if you love any of these three pieces that I'm showing you, you can go and find them there. So like you can see here, this is this lovely, like I say, city landscape for lack of a better word. So this is a round drill painting in the size 60 by 99 centimeters. <laughs> So again, what else have I said in my videos? Uh, I've also said I'm trying not to buy exceptionally large canvases. So this one and one of my Diamond Art Club orders is an exception to that rule. And then the last painting that I have to share with you guys from Distracted by Diamonds is this absolutely gorgeous piece. Now again, I must say that I think my tastes in art are changing somewhat or Maybe they're not necessarily changing, but they are growing. I'm liking and enjoying and accepting more different types of art because many of you would probably think this is not the type of image that I would like, but I absolutely love it. So when this one came up at a great price fairly recently, probably, I don't know, two to four weeks ago, I couldn't help but snap it up. So this one is called Young Lady with Gloves. And again, I'm sorry, this print here on the label is just so immensely small that I can't actually see who that artist is. But like I've said, I will link to the Etsy store below so you can go and check it out. This one is a square drill painting in the size 52 by 69 centimeters. Okay, everyone, so now moving on to the latest um, Diamond Art Club canvases that I've bought. The first four that I'm going to show you were just bought during normal, um, not restocks, but during their normal Saturday releases. And then I will show you the last five, which were specifically bought during the fifth anniversary sale. I will show those to you last. But for now, let's just start with this one. So this one is Winter Queen by Diana Levin. It's a round drill diamond painting in the size 55.8 centimeters times 69 centimeters. I'm sure many of you can tell that this one is just completely my style. And when I saw it, I just absolutely had to have it. Then the next one that I bought, guys, of course I bought this one. It's by Enna Morte. You know she is one of my favorite artists. So this is Letting Go by Enna Morte. It's a square drill diamond painting in the size 50.8 centimeters times 66 centimeters. Then the next one that I thought was absolutely gorgeous and I had to add to my stash is this one called Guardian of the Winter Forest by Rita Konya. Again, it's a square drill painting. The size is 45 centimeters by 65.5 centimeters. And then the last of the four diamond paintings that I bought prior to the anniversary sale is this gorgeous piece. I mean, yes, 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 of course, I had to get this one. This is called Storm Inside by Yume Art. Again, another square diamond painting in the size 45 centimeters times 67.5 centimeters. Now moving on to the last five canvases that I have to show you guys. These five I bought during the anniversary sale and I absolutely adore all five of these. So we start off with Flower Mermaid by Jamaica Murphy, this is a round roll diamond painting in the size 50 times 7 centimeters times 69 centimeters. This one, if I remember, was actually very popular and was one of the, the first ones to sell out. Um, I know which one was the very first one to sell out and I will show it to you in a second, but I think this one was definitely in the top three or top five that, that sold out the quickest. Then up next, we have a piece by the very well-known Mandy Manzano. How could I pass up on this one? I just couldn't because it's got a very sort of dark art feel to it. Um, I love Mandy's artwork. I don't buy it all because some of it is not 100% my scene. Um, but this one I absolutely loved. So I ended up ordering this one in a square. It was offered in a square and a round. Um, 
I was so worried about stuff selling out that I just tried to order as quickly as I could and I ended up getting a square when I actually intended to get a round. But it doesn't matter because I absolutely love square diamond paintings. I think you guys know. And so it really wasn't a big deal. Um, so just to give you the details, this is Karamia by Mandy Manzano, a square drill diamond painting in the size 45 centimeters times 81.7 centimeters. And of course, I mean, I was going to buy this one, wasn't I? I think it's absolutely stunning. I did note that it didn't appear to be as popular as some other art released by this artist, but I just think this one is absolutely gorgeous. This is Lead Me Tonight, again by Yume Art. It's a round drill diamond painting, and the size is 50.7 centimeters times 68.9 centimeters. And then guys, how gorgeous is this piece? Oh my gosh, when I saw this one, these colors in here, these greeny colors just completely spoke to me. Um, you know how much I love this sort of color palette and so I couldn't resist. This is Luna Moth Witch by Rita Konya. It's a square drill diamond painting in the size 55.8 centimeters times 76 centimeters. And then guys, last up is probably my favorite diamond painting of the lot. I have put this one on its side so that you guys can see the image. I'm sure you know which one this was. This is Journey in the Dark by Orclair Studio. Um, it's a square drill diamond painting in the size 98 centimeters times 65 centimeters. So another massive, massive canvas. And as I had said earlier, I am really trying very hard not to order these massive ones. But this one, oh, it just stole my heart the minute I saw it. And for those of you who don't know, this is the one that sold out first. This one sold out first in minutes, followed by um, a diamond painting that I was very tempted by, but I didn't end up ordering because I just thought the confetti was going to be too hectic for me. It was called Moon Goddess. Also another massively popular one. It almost had a bit of a Josephine Wall feel to it. That was the second one to sell out. So anyway, back to this one. I'm just so excited to have this one in my stash. I just really, really want to work on it soon. Um... I have Nine Lives by Christopher Lavelle kitted up and I've had that one kitted up since the end of last year and I got about a third of the way through it and I've just completely lost interest in it and I haven't worked on it the entire year. So I have said to myself that I have to finish that one because I'm only allowing myself one of these massive canvases, you know, to be kitted up at one time because they're just so huge that having more than one kitted up just doesn't make sense for me because then I don't get the finishes that I want. So I need to finish nine lives. And I think as soon as I'm finished nine lives, this will be the next um, kit that I will kit up and it will be my next massively large painting that I will work on. Anyway, again, that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how my stash has grown. Um, I do still have some more diamond paintings coming. I mean, I always have diamond paintings coming. <laughs> I got the amazingly good news today that my Rose Prophet Creations paintings have shipped at long last. I placed my order probably around the middle of April. Probably, let's just say, plus minus the 20th of April. And it shipped today. And we are right at, I'm filming this today, right at the end of, of June. So I'm actually going to call this video my, it's going to go up in July. So it's going to be my July um, uh, episode in this series. But the point is my Rose Profits have shipped at long last. <laughs> so as soon as those arrive at the Parcel Forwarding Company, then I will be bringing those back home together, together with some Ever Moments that I ordered and... I think there's a Dreamer Designs order there. There isn't a Diamond Art Club order there yet, but by the time it ships, there probably will be. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is my uh, video for today. Please let me know in the comments below which of these canvases are your favorite. Did you pick any of these up? Have you added any of these to your stash? Thank you so much for watching today, guys. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't done that already. And other than that, Happy Diamond Painting, friends. Bye.